So what would you, what do you say to the people watching us right now? What are some tips that we can leave them with on how they can fix their marriage or their relationship? I mean, bring it back. How do you bring that lust and love back? Well, first of all, you need to make the connection and you need to set the scene for the connection. You need to help him to feel safe and comfortable. So have your voice quiet. Be in a quiet room. Have some quiet music. And focus on him. Get get him to be settled down. If he needs a glass of wine or something, fine. So he can really settle down and listen to you. Because he does want to hear what you have to say, if you can say it in ten words. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear a monologue. <laughs> so think about what you, what you want to say. Think about what you want him to do. And create an environment where he can be receptive. Because once he's distracted, you've lost him. Second, come up with things that are appealing to him. Think about things he likes to do and keep it brief. Men don't like to do long things and they don't want to list. So one thing you're going to do with him. If you've got a household task or something you know he's not going to want to do, then make it some incentive. Like if you clean up the garage for Rochelle, then we'll go out to, for a steak and we'll have a really nice evening and a nice dinner. And in let him know you're grateful. So every now and then throughout the day, tell him, thank you so much for doing this. This really means a lot to me. And make sure that you keep new things coming in the relationship. Make sure that you put some thought into having a new experience. Emotionally, physically, sexually. Don't. I mean, sex is important to us at every age. And people who don't have a regular sexual relationship, men are more likely to get prostate cancer. You get endorphins from having orgasms. It needs to be part of your life at every age. And it's easy to get out of the habit, but it's just a habit. So there needs to be sex, there needs to be emotional connection, and there needs to be fun. Because couples who play together stay together. I love that. That's, that, that's a great ending. That's a great ending. Couples who play together stay together. Thanks, Dr. Lana. You're welcome. <laughs>